Question five at first glance looks like a potential divider circuit, which it is, although uh, that's arguably not the easiest way uh, of calculating what we're looking for. First of all, it tells us that we have a 45 volt power supply uh, with negligible internal resistance and it's connected to three resistors. Uh, we know the value of this resistor here in series 1000 ohms and we know the value of one of the two parallel resistors, 750 ohms, and we know the current that's passing through the 1000 ohm resistor, although we don't know how that current splits once it gets to this junction here. We need to calculate the unknown value R. There are a few different approaches to this. What I would do is to work out the total resistance of the circuit, RT. We know that V equals IR, in this case, R being the total resistance, and we know the EMF is 45 volts and the current is 0 0.03, so we can rearrange to find our total resistance is 45 divided by 0 0.03, which gives us 1500 ohms. Now we have two rules we can apply for resistors. We know the rule for resistors in series and resistors in parallel. First of all, what we have here is a 1000 ohm resistor in series with this unknown combination down here. So let's group that together and call that Rx. So we know that the total resistance RT, which is 1500, is equal to the sum of the 1000 ohm resistor and whatever this combination of resistors here is equal to Rx. So we can rearrange that again and we'll find that Rx is equal to 500 ohms. So that's 1500 take away 1000. And we're getting closer to our answer now. We have these two resistors in parallel we know that this one is 750 we know that we don't know this one that is r and we know that the combined total is 500 ohms so we need to use our resistors in parallel equation, the total resistance here, we're only considering these two resistors, so the total resistance is Rx. So one divided by Rx is equal to one divided by 750 plus one divided by R. We know that Rx is equal to 500. So 1 over 500 equals 1 over 750 plus 1 over R. So we can rearrange that. We get 1 divided by R is equal to 1 500th minus 1 over 750, which will give us an answer of 0 0.000. .000 six six seven which if you then take the reciprocal of that one divided by that value would give us a value for r of fifteen hundred ohms part b tells us that students are given a light dependent resistor and asked to design a circuit for a light meter to monitor changes in light intensity the meter reading must rise when the light intensity increases the incident light may cause the resistance of the LDR to vary between 1500 ohms and 250 ohms. The students uh, must use the DC supply and one of the resistors from part A and either a voltmeter or an ammeter. So we need to draw a suitable circuit and explain why the reading on that meter increases with increasing light intensity and explain which of the three fixed resistors will give the largest change on the meter for the change in light intensity. So this is a potential divider circuit. We know that we have a power supply, 45 volts. And in any potential divider circuit, we have a couple of resistors in series, connected like so. 
Now, if those two resistors are the same size, the result here is that the potential difference would be split equally. In this case, it would be 22 and a half volts across each. Now, what the question tells us is that we have an LDR at a fixed resistor. So let's make this bottom resistor the LDR. So this now is an LDR that varies uh, between 1500 ohms and 250 ohms. It gets a lower resistance. Remember, an LDR it has a negative coefficient. So as the light intensity increases, the resistance decreases. So if we were to connect a voltmeter across the LDR, as the resistance increases, the voltage would increase. Now, a high resistance in this case means a low light intensity. So that's the wrong way around. We want the reading on our voltmeter to increase when the light intensity increases. So to do that, we connect it across the other resistor, the fixed resistor. So we connect our voltmeter here. And what will happen now is as the light intensity strikes the LDR, the resistance of the LDR will decrease which means that the ratio between these two resistors will be more skewed towards this resistor, regardless of what value this is at, causing this voltage to increase. Now, in terms of which resistor we choose for this fixed resistance, we, we need to consider what the resistance range of the uh, LDR is. It's 1500 to 250 ohms. If we choose a huge resistor here, let's say 1 million ohms, almost all of the voltage will be dropped across that resistor. Likewise, if we choose a really, really small resistor, say 10 ohms, almost all of it will be dropped across the LDR, regardless of, of what value the LDR is, whether that's 1500 or 250. So what you're looking for here is a value that is similar to the resistance value of the LDR. Obviously, the resistance of the LDR changes. So in this case, it's best to choose one that's sort of in the middle of the range so 750 ohms is probably the most appropriate resistor to choose because it's in the middle of the range. So let's uh, complete our question now by uh, answering the wordy part. So resistance of the LDR is inversely proportional to light intensity. Therefore, potential difference across the LDR is also inversely proportional to light intensity. So potential difference across the fixed resistor will be directly proportional to light intensity. 750 ohm resistor has been selected because it is uh, in the middle of the LDR range, hence will give the highest sensitivity. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.